Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Pixelmon video here on the channel. Today, guys, we're going to be going over Pixelmon's overall performance issues and sort of things that you can do to make Pixelmon run better in your Minecraft 1.16.5 world. I know I've been getting a lot of comments recently and for a while now where people are essentially saying, I can't play Pixelmon in 1.16 because it lags me, my computer isn't good enough, etc. So today I'm going to go over a few things that you can personally do to make your Pixelmon run just a smidgen better in your minecraft world and we're gonna go from there of course if you guys have been enjoying the content like this on the channel consider leaving a like on this video subscribing if you're new because let's start off the new month with some new subscribers guys if you haven't done so already if you watch my content a lot consider leaving a subscribe because even though you may not technically watch me a lot YouTube's algorithm favors subscriptions. If it sees that you've subbed to me, then it will recommend more videos to you and you don't have to worry about constantly searching on my page because you can just go to the subscriptions tab and watch my content. That being said though, let's get right into this. So the first thing I'm going to let you all know is there's this little thing in Minecraft known as render distance. I'm sure you all are familiar with it. It's a setting in vanilla Minecraft that can change your entire perspective on how you see things. Right now, personally, my render distance, if I go into video settings is set to 10 per, for the computer that i'm running right now i normally keep my render distance about around 10 to 12 i know i could go higher depending but right now for the build that i have i use about 10 to 12 render distance if you're playing on a laptop if you're playing on not too recent of computers you are going to want to have that a bit lower i'm going to show you what it looks like on the lowest settings possible and this is what it'll look like. Now, yes, sure, you can't see anything. You can only see a little bit of Pokemon. But if I hit F3, you'll see I'm at like 3, 200 FPS. And you can also see on the right side of my screen what the specs are for my computer. I have an i7 uh, processor, 8700 CPU. So just so you all are aware, that's what my settings are. Or my settings, that's what my build is. I'm getting a new computer actually next week. So... I'm excited for that, but for now, this is what I'm running. It's kind of ironic I'm making this video now because it, it won't really matter to me what my stuff is right now in, in the coming days. But either way, I digress. Point of the matter is this is the lowest you can actually get your FPS to drop to if you are this low. And just to prove that does make a difference, if I raise my render distance to 16, I won't go any higher. You will see the FPS immediately drops down to 40 or 50 for me. And that's even with the computer that I have. You guys ever want to know what your computer build is, at least in Minecraft? If you hit F3 on your keyboard, it'll show it on the top right. So you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, if you don't want to worry about too much FPS lag or loading in too many things, the best thing I can always tell you is just to lower the render distance. Now, that's not the only things you can change. You can, of course, always change the different uh, graphics speed. I always change if I always say if you ha don't have that good of a computer, turn your particles all the way off turn your smooth lighting and graphics all the way down clip turn the clouds off literally change everything here possible to make things run better biome blend you can also turn off that's a newer setting that basically makes biomes generate smoothly into each other but if you turn that off it'll it'll make it a bit more less taxing always turn vsync off because vsync on essentially caps you at a certain fps level depending on your computer and most of the time it is 30 or 60 and you do not want that to happen if you're trying to get the best fps so always have vsync off in my opinion and i know some people are going to disagree with some of the things i'm saying they're going to say no that doesn't make a difference or no it doesn't actually matter i'm just saying what my personal experiences are and how that goes with me but let me tell you a little new feature in pixelmon itself that can actually make things run a little smoother they implemented this in i think two updates ago but if you hold f3 and x on your keyboard voila everything has become a sprite now you might be asking yourselves austin how's this decrease perform or how's this increased performance on my computer well if you didn't know pixel models are 3d and minecraft doesn't exactly go well with these 3d high density models especially the fact they have custom animations and everything and when you have a million running around constantly that can eat up a lot of performance on your computer especially if you do not have that good of a one but if you turn on these 2d sprites they still have all their noises they still have all their cries you can still catch them like normal they just now are 2d sprited so they kind of look like the original pokemon games and if you are a fan of something like that feel free to turn this on at any point in time again it is f3x and that's how you turn on that performance 
And again, just keep that in mind. This isn't something that you have to turn on or don't have to turn on. If you want to just do it for fun, go for it. Even the bosses, if I hit F3X, you will see they still display as a boss. You can still tell they're a boss. Even shiny Pokemon, different form Pokemon, you do not have to worry about that. Even my Mega Lucario from that guide I made uh, the other day, not guide discussion video, he is still, as you can see, a sprite over there, which is really, really cool. And it's it's not... It's not that big of a deal. Look, even if I throw my Mewtwo out, boom. And yes, I can ride the sprite. It looks ridiculous, but you can do that if you so desire. I'm going to turn it off though because not everyone likes seeing that. But yeah, that is probably the best way you can decrease performance in Pixelmon stuff. And if you're a person that likes editing the config files, don't try editing the config files to reduce spawns or increase spawns or whatever, especially if you're in performance issues, because they tweak the files well enough to make spawns happen the way they want them to if you decrease the spawns you're not going to get the same experience and sure it might reduce lag by not having as many entities spawning it's going to cause more problems than solutions because you're not going to be able to actually find pokemon and then you're going to complain saying it's too difficult with setting them to these settings now final thing before i end off this video for the people that are literally saying i can't play 1.16 of minecraft i have a few questions to ask you and then you guys can let me know in the comments if you're one of these people personally how do you know you can't play it? Did you try it in the past five years? Because 1.16.5 is a very old version of Minecraft. And sure, maybe when it first came out, it didn't run on whatever computer you have. But that doesn't mean you literally can't play it. You can install mods. I can't believe I'm about to say this. You can install mods like Optifine to help you run the mod better. I know Optifine, I personally never recommend because it, it can glitch out with Pixelmon sometimes and not render the models but that's that's nowhere here nor there um you can install other performance based mods if you so desire you could just look up the best settings for 1.16.5 based on your pc build guys I'll, I'll tell you right now i can't run certain games at max graphics max settings but all i do is google my pc specs that for the game and i say what what settings do i need to set them to and i normally find either a helpful informative page or website or video that tells me exactly what settings to do so go with that don't don't just say i can't run it and then give up and never leave 1.12 because trust me guys i'm sure those same people th the same people that are saying now that i can't run 1.16 when we're in the era of 1.20 of minecraft said the exact same thing when 1.12 came out when they were playing 1.7.10 so before you say oh i just can't run it give it another shot try changing your settings up a bit don't just turn on the game and be like nope can't do it and leave like just just give it a shot for me give it a shot see if you can actually run it and one more thing for people that are saying like i can't run pixamon specifically uh check what other mods you have installed if a lot of people install like the pixamon mod pack which is more than one mod and a lot of people also install other mods through pixamon and if you're having performance issues more often than not, that's also the, the solution is just don't have as many mods installed that you are trying to install. If you only have like Pixelmon, Just Enough Item, stuff like that, then that's also a thing. One more thing. I keep remembering things as I'm trying to outro this video. Guys, if you didn't know, Pixelmon needs at least four gigabytes of RAM allocated to it. This isn't a Minecraft thing. This is Pixelmon. So Minecraft typically runs on two gigabytes of RAM by default. And you can check that in the JVM arguments whenever you go to launch Minecraft under settings when you go to like create a new save file for Minecraft in your Minecraft where it asks you like what version you want to play in, etc. You can change the JVM arguments to actually up the amount of RAM you're giving your Minecraft. So if you're a person that's playing in only two gigabytes of RAM and you're having performance issues with Pixabon, that's probably the reason also why that's happening. And I've I think I've shown it before in some of my videos how to change the RAM in my guides, like how to install mods and stuff. So I recommend checking those out if you want to actually see how to do it. Uh, otherwise, I might just make a separate video at some point explaining how to do that because it's a really quick thing. It's literally changing a two to a four. But again, I only tell you to do that if your computer can handle increasing the RAM. Don't if you have a laptop, don't tell your laptop to run four gigabytes of RAM. If your laptop's only an eight gigabyte laptop, you're gonna end up just breaking. It's not gonna be able to. Not that you're gonna break the laptop, but you're just not gonna be able to run the thing at all. And to that, I say to the people that are like, I literally just have a bad PC. I'll never be able to run it. I apologize, and I hope in the future you are able to get a better pc to run a mod like pixmon because pixmon's really fun and all
But that is where we come to the end of this video. Feel free to leave comments down below. I know I'm going to get at least 10 people criticizing me and saying, well, actually, you could do this to fix your Minecraft. If you guys have actual helpful solutions, feel free to leave them down below and say, this is what I did to help my Minecraft run better. Anyway, that's going to do it. I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe, everybody. Goodbye.